1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf in the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one is going to be a quick hit. And I'm going to try to make it straight to the point, Lord's willing. And more importantly, edifying to those of the whole four elect. You know, I just want to put out there for the newly fruit, you know, the men, brothers, starting with the men, okay, that, uh, uh, going down to the women, you know, waking up to the fact that you're an Israelite, you know, this is a warning, you know, and really, you know, we, we understand the Lord's elect is going to get it, okay, but the rest were blinded, so it says, 1 Corinthians 2 and 4, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, you have a lot of Israelites today, new Israelite camps who popping up out of nowhere all right and they look they're, they're prideful and they're looking for fame they're looking to sit on some type of high seat and they're bringing out false doctrines they're coming against the doctrines the true doctrine and which was taught you know and they're enticing words of man's wisdom is by playing upon your mind all right by by saying things you know, like, you know, for an example, that, that young dude and uh, how he was speaking and he had the women out there, you know, listening and how he was speaking, saying like, you know, the Black Panthers, they didn't have a law to live under or something like that. And we do. And we, we, what we going to do is we going to get our guns and stand up like, yo, this dude, yo, man, listen, these, yo, you got men. Who are coming up out of nowhere you know not giving respect to the elders or the apostles let me say because really everybody is learning from the apostles and elders of great millstone everybody all right you take from the apostles you take you take but you don't even give any reference and where you got this word from you know you're faithfully watching the apostles so much that you turn around and you take what's, what's being taught and you, you try to remix it. You switch it up because you need, because some of these guys need a way for them to stand out, you know? So they, they take what they learn and they twist it. So for the newly fruit, starting with the men first, down to you women, be careful of these men that are, with, that are speaking with enticing words and wisdom of men. I'll give you an example. You got men who, you know, will want to, you know, stockpile on guns and go to shooting ranges. If a man is talking about going to a shooting range and, you know, getting ready for the Jacob's Trouble, the race war and all that, they off. All right. And the enticement of that is to comfort you, you know, so that you could be a part of something and thinking you got a fighting chance. Well, we have a fighting chance and that's through our faith and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, what these guys don't realize because they don't have the faith is that the Lord is showing his strength through the weak. Okay? Yahweh Shai came to be a healer to those that are sick, that need a healing, that need a help. Alright? If you don't need a help or a healer, you would need of Yahweh Shai for you. And this is why you got certain men who in leadership in these different camps. You know, and I I believe too, you know, that they might have sold out and took that bag, you know, to keep Israel asleep. Because they should know better. You know, all this long time you've been in the truth and you still, you know, just wax and worse. Something is up, you know. So like, let me pull over and uh, just let me give a, a blue letter look up for enticing, right? Strong's G, 3981. Pythos. Pythos. Thayer's lexicon. Related entry. Pythos. Pythos. All right. Uh, it says persuasive. 
enticing, okay, persuasive. Now, we, we, we speak with enticing words, but it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're telling you that this thing is about faith because Paul said, we know the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, all right? But they're speaking with enticing words, which is what? Wisdom of, the, the words of man's wisdom, not Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's wisdom, okay? So that's a difference. And you're going to have to, you know, learn that on your own. You're going to have to make that choice. You're going to have to pray and ask the Lord to guide your steps, you know, to make sure that you're being taught the truth, you know. So it says, and, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Okay. And we demonstrate that as well as just like Apostle Paul, just not with the spiritual powers yet. But through the word And really, when you really think about it These guys have not truly repented Alright The guys still get shaped up Clean cut baby face You know Enticing you with his looks Because you know he, he's trying to prove that he got all his knowledge So women, young, gullible Simple women Will flock to that You know Man, the, the Lord is going to destroy some of Lord, the Lord is going to clean house, man. It says, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. All right. The demonstration is through the word, man. Okay. By bringing out these precepts, you know, here a little, there a little, the breakdowns, you know, uh, the prophesizing. Let me not forget that. That's the most important, the prophesizing, you know, saying the things that are before, before they happen through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi All right. It says that. Your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Most High. So why is your faith, when you listen to some of these guys, you guys are blocking them, talking about a community, building their own community. That's wisdom of men. This ain't the time to build and do things like that. You got this other cat, the young guy, the neighborhood watch Israelite, you know, and there's plenty of them. You got Nate, okay, talking about the tribe of Dan. So it says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. You should be an individual with your faith uh, toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not in the wisdom of men, which the way they're teaching you in the wisdom of men is that you're going to be comforted by the, the uh, gathering of, of, of men with, with, with stockpile foods, water, protection of guns nah <laughs> that's the comfort that they're feeding you that's the, within the Tyson world you feel safe that way but here at Great Millstone we're teaching you the raw truth alright we're telling you to get right with the most high because it's going to take faith it's going to take uh, divine intervention the most high to interfere with your steps in the way that you go so that you be protected okay so that you can be on that chariot being a part of that number right it says, but in the power of the Most High, so that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Most High. Believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, how be, how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, not yet the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to Noph. But we speak the wisdom of Yahweh in this mystery, even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory. So this is the hidden wisdom. You're getting the hidden wisdom by the brothers, let me say starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the men on down. You're getting the honest truth. The Lord is gonna show his power through the weak. He's not showing his power through the ones that's thinking they're gonna save their life. Yahweh Shai said that he that saved, he that Loseth his life for my sake shall find it, and he that findeth his life shall lose it. All right, so yeah, you got to think about you yourself and I, okay, and not be enticed by this false comfort of carnal things, but men that are teaching spiritual things, which those spiritual things is of Yahweh Shimon Yahweh Shai. All right, 
being comforted as if you're going to eat through a famine because this group has stockpiles, a warehouse full of food and water. You know, they got guns and they're going to protect you and stuff like that. No. All right. You truly yourself have to have faith in your how about Shemel Shai. Matter of fact, the elder brother, uh, Amawan Gabar, you know, I'm thinking about uh, the, the word he, he actually brought to light, you know, for more insight is the word pilgrim. The scriptures teach us to be as pilgrim in that day. And when you go into that word pilgrim, it don't just means to to vagabond and to travel, but it means to, to look for a miracle. All right. To look for a miracle. So the scriptures, you know, the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh teaches us and warns us and builds us up for that day. All right. Not the uh, wisdom of men that speak in carnal things. OK, carnal things. That you're going to be okay through a famine because this group built this community. This group got food in the warehouse, got water. This group got protection and guns. Nah, man. You got to truly have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? If it's not of faith, then it's what? Sin. All right? So you're going to be comforted by the word and by the Lord, you know, <coughs> by the Lord carrying you through this end. You know, through the darkest hours, whether even it be unto death. All right. You didn't lose salvation. You know, have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You should make, you should fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because it's all about you. You, you, they can't save you. All right. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.